I've always been a massive fan of Super Mario 64 taking place in and around Peach's Castle. Having a game really grand in scale that takes place all inside a very small enclosed area is actually really awesome to me. My favorite example of this is Banjo-Kazooie, which is my favorite game of all time. Freeze Easy Peak, the way you get in it is a giant advent calendar on the wall. and That's just so cool. I love those games, and I decided to make a game that takes place entirely inside a mansion. In 2017, I started work on my first game ever, Luna Lane. You traverse through a haunted mansion, defeating enemies with your trusty boomerang and also unlocking magical spells in the form of cards. This game had a lot of really great ideas that I'm using even today, but it also had some really awful ideas. The worst idea I had was in order to get these special spell cards, you had to collect a really rare currency and then bring it to this machine. And then when you use the machine, you would get a random card and sometimes you could get duplicates kits and it was just a terrible RNG system I hated it I don't even know why I did it in the first place one of the ideas that I had was really cool but in the end it didn't really work out and it was that the cards could actually help you explore the mansion a little bit better for example there was this enemy called the cloche and it was just a little ghost underneath a dinner cloche and it would open up and throw forks at you I made a card based on that where you could throw forks and they would also stick into walls. Then I thought it would be really cool if, what if when it's stuck in the wall you could jump on it and then use that in order to get to different areas. Turns out people could use that to skip a lot of areas of the map and someone even found a way to fight the boss like immediately. So yeah, that was kind of broken. The final boss was a giant jelly that was suffering from lunal madness that made it turn evil and you had to defeat it. After that, I moved on to the Unity version of Luna Lane and man, a lot changed. You began the game inside mysterious ruins. Once again, you're stuck inside a giant mansion, but this time around, there's even stuff like towns inside the mansion. There was Skimstead, which was meant to be the hub area, kind of where you would come back to periodically throughout the story. And there was also the unnamed Pleret Town, which was really, really visually cool. And I love that so much, and I definitely have to make that in the new version of the game. But this version also had some really awesome enemies, notably the Regalia, kind of this weird cloak with an eyeball that you would fight. And also the Taper Shell, which was like a turtle with a candle on it covered in wax. And when you defeated it, it would kind of like melt into a puddle of wax really really cool here we are in a very early testing version of the new luna lane you could probably see a lot is different first of all noble is super duper tiny i mean look how tiny this little guy is and also you can see that the boomerang is like massive on his back i think it's really awesome the reason why we made noble tiny is because first of all he's easier to animate and it also works with this new sort of design philosophy that we have for making things more cartoony and exaggerated. Also, it just makes everything else in the game seem much more grand in scale. And the biggest thing is that now Noble can fit under one block gaps. So this makes us have way more interesting level design. And I think all of that is really, really cool. The boomerang is as usual, you point where you want to throw it and it gets thrown out and then it comes back when it hits a wall or it hits like an enemy or something. Now we added a really cool thing where if you throw it out, you can click again and actually recall it early, which is super duper cool. I don't know why I never did that in the past, but it's in the game now and it's really awesome. Another thing that's really awesome that we never had is sprinting. So now you can speed run around the map if you really feel like it. It actually feels really, really good. I've been having people on the Discord server test this game out and tell me what they thought about it and we've gotten to a point to where it feels quite nice. You can see that the tile set and the art style for the game has changed quite a bit. One of the coolest things is these. They're called Raleigh Lanterns. They're a little bit reddish purple and like bluish greenish kind of and you can see them swaying back and forth it just makes the whole entire area much more lively and if you throw your boomerang at them or if you walk into them they shake around a little bit luna lane is back and it's my dream game and i know i always say all of my games are my dream game but this one is really my dream game <laughs> 